And it's like a new BMW it's all over it. again. Alright, so welcome back to another uh, episode of Broke Ass Performance, um, and today what are we planning to do, Marshall? Uh, today we're going to change out the roundels on the trunk of my BMW. Uh, this one's got a carbon fiber, fake carbon fiber one, it's cracked and it's yellowing. Yeah, not necessarily the most ideal, so uh, we're going to try and make it go back to OEM, considering that's the only carbon fiber one on yeah. there now. so we got this like $3 Chinese eBay roundel, and... Uh, we're going to pry that one off and put this one on. What do we need for uh, prying so it off? We need a non-marring uh, trim tool or prying tool and a cloth to uh, help protect the paint. This one is microfiber. And that should be all you'll really need. Pretty nice. And the roundel itself. Yeah. So the roundel, let's open it up here. It's gonna have two, what you call them, barbs on the back? Yeah, they're like barbs. And uh, they're at three o'clock and nine o'clock. So that's where you're gonna wanna start prying it to loosen it off the back there. Alright, it comes off that easy. Uh, this one had somebody cut and put some 3M double sided tape on there. It shouldn't necessarily be necessary, but yeah. uh, before you go popping that one on, maybe we should clean behind it and get that adhesive off. Yeah, huh? it's pretty dirty and gross. Alright, hold on one second, we'll be right back. Okay, so next step. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we got it all clean now, and uh, a normal smart person would change out these grommets, but uh, we cheaped out and didn't spend the extra dollar for those. So, yeah, we're going to pop this on. Uh, upside down? Sure. Uh, let's go right side. And hopefully it stays in there. Feels like it went in there pretty, pretty good for using those. Yeah. And then we're gonna... And it's like a new BMW it's all over it. again. Alright, we're doing uh, Matt's car too, and uh, his roundel is it's actually uh, flaked off. Yeah, it's flaked off. And it's also recessed into the actual yeah. trunk. So it's a little harder to get a marring to a non-marring tool back there. Right. So we're gonna try something else that we've seen where you take like a plastic strap for packaging or whatever. Yeah, it's a binding strap. Yep. And you're gonna try and we uh thread it through there basically and try and pop it out. So we'll see if this works. It might not. And go from the bottom up. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. See, it seemed like it came through the top pretty easy. It was getting stuck on the bottom. Just bundling up back there or something, huh? Yeah. Seems like you shoved quite a bit in. I think so. I don't think that that's... Yeah. No. So we tried. Now we're going to try the harder way, it seems. <laughs> oh. 
phone came off way easier. Totally. Also, I didn't have double-sided tape on mine. Right. And that's how you do it if you have an E90 with a recessed uh, round L. Alright, so uh, that's the end of that video. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. That's how you change out your uh, BMW emblem or uh, round L. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends, and peace out. Broke-ass performance is what it stands for.